The parliament in Catalonia voted and they have voted in favor of independence, leading the central government of Spain to quickly dissolve it or attempt to dissolve it. Now the final ballot in Catalonia was 70 to 10 in favor of the declaration of independence in the Catalan parliament where 55 deputies declined to vote showing deep divisions. If you can remember earlier, a couple of weeks ago, uh, there was a vote in um, Barcelona that uh, basically indicated the Catalon, uh, the, the people in Catalonia wanted that independence. However, voter turnout was around 40%, partly because uh, they were met with violence by police officials that were sent by the central government of Spain. Now, Spain's prime minister does not agree with this uh, effort to secede. And as a result, he plans to dismantle the Catalan government, suspend its ministers, dissolve its parliament, and also take over regional police. Now, it's unclear how that's gonna happen or what they're uh, planning on uh, doing to lead to all these you know, bullet points that I just mentioned. But um, things are getting bad, things are getting really bad and we actually have someone here from Barcelona who knows a thing or two about the situation. Yeah, uh, only we, if we only had an expert on Catalonia. Uh, okay. We can find one. <laughs> All right, Nando, go. Well, um, this is a very a complicated and fluid situation, right? Uh, the Catalan government an announced independence and then the Madrid government basically immediately said, okay, no, you your government is now illegitimate. Mm-hmm. The question though now is how does the Madrid government exert its state power over Catalonia, which is one of the largest and richest regions in Spain, right? Um, you know, literally, how are they going to, you know, force them to dismantle? Because if the government in Catalonia doesn't recognize the government of Madrid and they declare independence, you know, they're basically, you know, saying putting all their chips on the table and saying like either you guys basically invade or you know we're just going to continue soldiering on. The complicating factor. Um, in this, which is different from uh, you know other independence movements that have been in the past in Europe, such as Montenegro and Czech Republic versus Czechoslovakia, is that the people of Catalonia are about 50-50. I mean, it is like mm-hmm. uh, probably below 50% on favoring independence, but around 50-50. Um, so basically, half of the population is completely freaked out. Right, they they're they're staring at the edge of the abyss. They're saying they feel like they're being pushed off a cliff. Yeah. Right. Um, so what's going to happen? In in theory, um, there's going to be elections, regional elections in December. Um, but it's highly likely that the independence parties are not even going to participate. They're going to declare it indif- uh, illegitimate, and they're going to try to force the hand of independence because. If, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense to run twice on on the issue of independence, right? They're gonna say like, okay, this time we're really gonna do it, you know? Like they can't, they have to, they have to go all in now or never. I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, so, what what I gather is that part of the reason why they want to separate so badly is because it is a wealthier part of Spain, wealthier region where they pay a disproportionate amount in taxes, mm-hmm. um, which it seems like they don't have a problem with that if they felt like they were getting something in return. But they feel as though the government is denying them certain services that other parts of Spain receives. Am I getting that correct? Well, sure. I mean, but that's that's just I mean, you know, California, which is wealthier than other, like Missouri, contributes mm-hmm. more than. Missouri does in taxes and gets, you know what I mean? Like that's just federalism, right? The the wealthier regions subsidize the poorer regions, right? Right. Which is why, I mean, to me, the big, I mean, as a person on the left and a person from Spain and Catalonia, like I've always had problems with Catalan nationalism because it's a force, it's a right wing reactionary force, right? This idea that they want to separate from Spain and sort of basically, you know, you know, take my take my pie and I'm going to eat it all, you know, rather than you know, help out other poor Spaniards, like I, th- I find to be like wrong ethically, morally, and everything, right? Um, it is, that's the, and that's one of the strange things about the Catalonia independence movement is that, you know, contrary to Scotland or Montenegro or whatever, well, these are poorer regions right. sort of liberating themselves from a richer quote unquote oppressor. This is the richest region saying, like, no, 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 you guys are holding us back, we're gonna get out of here. It escalated so quickly, which is crazy, right? Like, yeah. I like, what do you think the Spanish government should have done, or the central government? Because it's like they why repress people in a vote that forty percent turned out to that was largely symbolic? It's just like let them vote. Well, you, I mean, that's that's exactly right. When when five years ago, when Mariano Rajoy's right wing government took power in Madrid, um, independence was you know below twenty percent in in the polls, right? Five years later, it's around fifty percent, and the 
you know, the country's falling apart, right? In those five years, um, Rajoy and his right wing government have basically taken the approach of like, shut up, we don't even want to talk to you, mm. you have zero legitimacy, just shut up, you know? And of course, all that has done is it's been a factory for independence people. Like, it's just like, okay, yep, keep on going, you know, just give us more. And because, and it's just fueled the tension so much. Instead, he should have extended a hand to Catalonia. Oddly, like the British Tories did to Scotland, right? The, it was the British right wing government, the Tories, that offered Scotland a vote and then did a positive campaign, you know, like, you know, Scotland, we love you, you know, remain, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? It ended up, they ended up right. voting to remain. Um, which is probably would have happened in Catalonia if they had given them the vote. It's almost as if uh, pushing people into a corner and always relying on conflict is not a great strategy. Uh, you know, almost. You know, okay. that's why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's my main contribution yeah. to the story because he's got it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the only thing that anybody else wanted from this story for, was for Nando to say Catalonia again. Yeah. Just Catalonia. One more time. Catalonia. Yeah. Catalonia. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com slash join.